Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video Trudor, and welcome back to Stellaris The Impossible Run. Well, last time, I thought things were pretty much as bad as they could get. Then they got worse, because I was planning to make some friends, maybe form a federation, get some branch officers down, everything would be lovely. But if I just go over to the opinion map mode here, yeah, that's a lot of red. And red means they want to murder me. There's a bit of green too. That green might just keep me alive. But uh, yeah, there's most definitely a move towards murdering me. In particular, the Corinthians, rather surprisingly, have started actually putting down claims. Uh, as have the Spock Shellacs. So uh, I'm more worried about the Spock Shellacs for now. Because they've actually got forces starting to build up on the border. Forces... Uh, I can't possibly beat. Now, maybe with my allies, if the defensive packs all kicked in, maybe, just maybe, we'd be able to hold them off, but I would take a devastating amount of damage in the meantime. Also, I've pretty much spent all of my money. My bank is almost entirely gone. I've got no alloys. I'm low on influence, and we're not getting that as fast as I'd like either, just because of the defensive packs and all of that business. Yeah, things aren't exactly going great, so... I've got a plan today, which is uh, we look for alternative ways to succeed. Because we've got a whole bunch of wild cards up our sleeve here, alright? We've got a ruined world right there. The Rubicator might well be something good. I've no bloody clue, but maybe it's something good. And uh, we've got the Howling Vortex. We've got the Flipping Worm. So uh, that might, just might, be able to give us a bit of an edge. Here we go, the ISS security. So yeah, if you guys just finished scanning that sector and once you're done with that, get over here, check out the Howling Vortex. That probably means you're going to be eaten by the worm. That's fine, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Meanwhile, as soon as we've actually taken over Skullroom, we're going to start digging up the Rubicator. Alright, that planet might just give us a bit of an edge. And if I could just lock down this system up here and fortify it against the trading birds. Now, admittedly, me and the trading birds get on uh, sort of okay. Alright, the broken diplomatic pack thing is starting to wear off. Xenophile diplomacy works just fine. They've got bigger problems than us. They've got plenty of rivals and whatnot. So if we're lucky, we'll have no problems with them whatsoever. Right, get time cracking on here because uh, pretty much at any second, uh, we could be invaded. And if that does happen, I don't know what the right thing to do is. I've got no bloody clue. So, uh, we'll cross that bridge if we come to it. If we're very, very lucky indeed, then even though we all hate each other, it will be a cold war for the time being. Because, just for now, they might not dare attack us because of the defensive packs. Nobody is capable of being the aggressor and... Uh-oh. What's happening? Oh, this is actually good. The Beldross Wildlings are potentially willing to offer mercenary fleets out. Okay, depending on the price, we might be able to do a deal here. Yes. Okay, we're looking at like four grand, six and a half grand, or nine grand. Now, I am floating a fairly large amount of minerals right now. I could probably pull that together. So, okay, if I come under attack... Those mercenaries might just be what I need to survive because I simply do not have the fleet capacity of the alloys to build my own fleet. But hiring somebody else's for a giant pile of money, well, that does sound like a megacorp sort of thing to do, yes. Oh, the Spuck Shellacs are just putting more and more bloody claims down. I do not like this. Oh, this is not good. So the Seer Gogs have attacked the Nat Fanken to my south. Now, because of the defensive pact, yeah, unfortunately, that means I'm at war with those guys. But on top of that, too, that's going to keep the Nat Fankards busy for the time being. And also, uh-oh. I can't help but notice red, red right there. Have the Spuck Shellacs jumped in as well? Yes, the Spuck Shellacs have 100% jumped in. Meaning I, by default, have now been pulled into a war with the Spuck Shellacs I didn't actually want. Oh, good. Oh, flipping marvellous. I'm so thrilled about that. Also, I think there might be a massive empire over here that momentarily is planning to, um, introduce itself. Because for some reason we're sort of conceptually aware of these guys, but not too much. Give it a couple of seconds, they might come and say hello. Okay, the big question. The mega fleets that are floating around here, 
that I can't possibly defeat. Where are they planning to... They're planning to invade immediately. Okay. So, 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 so. Those guys are just invading. With a combined strength of 3,600. Straight away. They're just going to come in here and uh, probably they're just going to try and uh, hold on. And probably they're just going to pass through and try and deal with the Natfanken to the south. Because if they cut through my territory, that's the easiest way for those fleets to get where they want to go. I suspect I do not even want to try and fight right now. Not while they're all together. While they're divided, maybe. I think we need to fall back to Rassel Gethy. And also, I think it's time to, yeah, call on those mercenaries. To make that happen, however, we're going to need to start selling, like, a lot and oh dear. Even if I sell all the minerals I've got, that's not worth much. I'm guessing food's not worth much either. No, food really isn't worth much at all. I could sell a thousand for six hundred right there. In fact, yeah, mysteriously, food is slightly more valuable than minerals right now. Okay, then. What about... Okay, that's not bad either. So I can get 600 there. I can get myself, yeah, 1,200 there. So that's about 1,800 total. Yeah, okay. I can get myself maybe two and a half grand in energy. By selling pretty much everything I own. And that's not enough to buy even the cheapest mercenary fleet. Okay, we could be in a lot of trouble here. The one advantage we've got here is uh, we've got time on our side. It's going to take them a little bit of time to get past the Spuck Shellac blockade. We're going to fall back. We cannot fight right now. We simply cannot fight. Everybody needs to fall back immediately to the southern blockade over in Rasselgethi. The Spuckshalak blockade will keep the Spuckshalaks busy for the time being. If we're very lucky, they might split up their fleet. One fleet going north, one fleet going south. At that point, we can take one of those fleets. We can try and take back our territory, but oh bloody hell. The Spuckshalak blockade, once they've occupied it, that's theirs. That's going to be very difficult for me to actually take back. And I don't want to lose Rasselus because that's actually really damn valuable. Okay, plans, 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 plans. Over to policy here. Economic policy. Right now we're on a mixed economy. If I went over to uh, militarized, then I would get myself, yeah, additional alloys. Which could potentially be very useful either for building more ships or for selling. Because alloys have a very, very high price. However, that would leave me massively in the hole for consumer goods. But that's fine, because if we sacrifice just a little bit of unity, yeah, consumer benefits, we can actually get a giant pile of consumer goods, potentially sell them too. Okay, that's for the best. Go over to uh, consumer benefits, economic policy, militarize the economy right now. What else can we potentially do uh, to make some more money? I'm not sure there's much at all. Okay, get time ticking along here as soon as we pass by the month. There we go. Massive, massive increase right there to consumer goods. That's going to be good. We can sell those for good money. And the fleets are indeed uh, pulling back right now. I'm so sorry, guys, but you're kind of on your own. In fact, actually, that is... Uh, yeah, that's all of it. That's the 1,600 and the 2,000. So... Uh, you're just going to have to deal with that. And when I say you're going to have to deal with that, you're not going to be able to deal with that. But good luck regardless. In they come. They are going to annihilate that station. But we might be able to do some good damage to them in the meantime. They've got point defense. Right, so that's a problem. And okay, so they've torn through the shields pretty quick. The shields appear to be... And also the armor. And also... Uh, everything else actually yes okay so they've just torn that to shreds okay um i'm i'm not sure please go south i'd really like you to go south right now i'd love you to go south okay right now they're not going anywhere that's fine they could just hold position right there for the time being um you guys, yeah, take point. If anyone would like to come and join us, that'd be brilliant. I'd love people to come and join us right now. Where are your fleets, by the way? Your fleets are... 
Holding perfectly still, not responding in any way. Great, thanks. On the plus side, the Seer Gog themselves, yeah, they're not going to be doing that well in this. Their fleet is uh, pretty pathetically weak, all things considered. Okay, seriously at this point, we need that money, we need that mercenary fleet. Start selling what we've got on the open market here. Snorf apparently has... Ah! Snorf has hit 40. Okay, we've actually got an open building slot here. What, if anything, do we need to stop this whole place collapsing? Ooh, a gene clinic is cheap. That boosts the growth rate. That's never a bad thing. Plus, more amenities. Uh, that's good too. Yeah, get more gene clinics into production over there. That's all absolutely fine. And Tiny Sands is at four. Needs to be at five before ready to do anything there. But it's getting there. Starting to get there. Everything should soon be under control. These guys are still not moving. Right now, they're just holding steady right there. Which works for me, at least for the time being. Uh, Southern Outpost. We need to actually get ourselves... Uh, what do we need to do here? What would help me the most? Ship weapon range doesn't feel like it's going to help that much, to be honest. Yeah, get that disruption field generator down. It's expensive, but screw it. It might give us at least a little bit of an edge. 2,300. I am floating a big pile of food right now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Back over to the market here. Back over to the market. Because I'm making a surplus of food, yep, yeah, sell all of that food, 3,600. Okay, then if I just actually sell, okay, I could sell another 250. I mean, we're making a surplus, so we're fine in that regard. Then sell this over here, 4,600. Well, 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 well. I'd say we know what we need to do here. Yeah, I'm going to be needing some mercenaries, actually. For some reason, even though I do need 9,000 energy to hire these guys, yeah, I don't have 6,500, but I could hire these guys, but then I'd actually be in debt, which seems like a bad idea. So uh, I can't remember what the negative effects of being in debt are, but it's probably bad. Let's just take the frenzied volunteer squadron. Two cruisers, four frigates, eight raiders. Not spectacular. But it's going to have to do the job. Okay, so the Frenzied Volunteer Squadron also comes with its own Admiral. They're 2,100 by themselves. Right, you guys, uh, start moving uh, right now. Oh, they come with cruisers. Uh, and they come with plasma thrusters and hyperdrive too. Uh, right, tech-wise, these guys are miles ahead of me. Flipping miles ahead. And bear in mind, I've only got them uh, for five years. So, uh, until mid-2236. Uh, all we've got to do is hope these guys uh, hold still uh, until my reinforcements get in place. And also the Democratic Reform Council just formed. Okay, guys, we're a bit busy trying to not die. But the mercenaries might keep me alive long enough that that doesn't happen. Hopefully. Okay, what about the Nat Fanken fleets? Because yeah, there's 2,000 of them uh, right there. 2,000 trying this. Oh no! No! Balls! They're moving straight after me. And that means I'm going to lose all my defences. I can't engage these guys straight on. Not right now. It would be... Oh, but should I? Okay, the southern outpost has... Uh, it's got the guns. It doesn't have anything else. Strike Force Kraken is only 1,300. The base is only 1,000. If I were to throw away... No, I need to do it in the other order. It has to happen in the other order, unfortunately. I need to send the mercenaries in first because if they get shattered, it doesn't matter. They're not going to be mine in the long term anyway. Darn it. We're going to lose Rassel Gethy as well. Okay, guys. Uh, fall back, fall back, fall back. Bear in mind, of course, if I throw away too much now, there's a possibility the Corinthians will just attack us and then we'll be annihilated. So, uh, it's a shame... Uh, but we just have to give it up. We just have to give it all up, unfortunately. So we are retreating out of this system. Uh, you guys, uh, cancel that, by the way. We may as well get the alloys back for that. They've got the point defense. So, uh, yeah, that place is going to be torn apart. We'll do a tiny, tiny amount of damage if we're lucky. But it's not going to be much. We just need to wait for the bloody frenzied volunteer squadron to show up here. So, uh, 2,800 actually. Marvellous. I think the game has only just started counting their admiral. So, uh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff right there. We've got time while this station 
this station has just collapsed immediately. Where are you guys going now? You guys are naffing off to... I don't know. Possibly they're just going to heal up. No, hang on. 1,500 is... Good! They're starting to split apart. This is what we were waiting for. We could not take them together. But if they're going to start sending one force down south to deal with the Nat Fanken, we've got a chance at that point. We've got a flipping chance. Now, the question is, what do they know or not know? Because... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Check what sensors you've got on you. They've only got basic sensors. They can't actually detect what I've got right now. Okay, we've got some good news. They're splitting apart. We've taken some damage and our own station's going to be used against us. But, 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 this is all fine. We can now start picking them apart, especially when the actual mercenaries show up. How's the actual front of the war over here going, by the way? Which is, uh, okay. There's some Nat Fanken armies just floating around, but you guys are really, really struggling to actually penetrate this station's armor. Right, so this invasion didn't even make it past the front door. Good, don't need to worry about that too much in that case. All I've got to worry about is, yeah, my own borders. My mercenaries should be able to handle it. Hopefully. Ah, yes, yeah, so and while I'm here, Fuella. We can actually log that down because that's a lot of flipping minerals. So uh, we'll get that place. We'll start fortifying it. We've got that before they were able to scan it. That works for me. And yeah, for some reason, there's a semi-invisible empire over here, which is uh, admittedly a very large, scary empire. I do not like the Luxie of that. In fact, speaking of which, by any chance, my trade bird friends, would you like to maybe swap comms for comms? Because I feel like we both know people that the other... Okay, I'm not paying for it, all right. I'm very broke right now. Okay, the fleets continue to separate over here in Rassel Gethy. So, uh, one heading over here, one heading over here. This is my... Ah, this is my trade outpost. So, a bit of a sad one to lose, to be honest, but not the worst thing in the world. Where are you guys going, by the way? Right, you guys are going down over here because, yeah, you actually do have a claim over there. So, unsurprising, really. Now, where are my problems and... Hostile fleet. Okay, yes, we knew about that one. That's absolutely fine. Don't worry. It's all under control, mostly. The Frenzied Volunteer Squadron is almost present. All right, it's almost there. Ooh, bit unfortunate, though. These guys were ultimately able to take the front door with catastrophic losses, but they were. But looks like the Nat Fanken haven't actually engaged yet, as far as I can see. They're holding their fleets back for the time being, so... Anytime you guys want to get involved, that'd be magnificent. You guys have just... Okay, you guys have only just arrived in that area. You're going to knock over this because obviously you are. There's nothing we can do about that. But you are a fair way away from me. I should be able to pick off this fleet sooner rather than later. That's a small trade outpost. These guys have... Hang on. Have you guys got literally no shielding? Okay, you do have shielding. It's just been picked apart. No! No! It's because there's a pulsar right here. Right, that's why you've got no shields. Well, at least that means there'll be a bit of damage done to you. Okay, guys, 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 guys. There we go. There's the 2,800. We've still got... Okay, we've still got like four and a half years. It's only been six months, but time will sneak up on me. Keep an eye on that. Watch out for 2236. Now, where are they going after that? Okay, they're heading down towards Eternal Horizon. So they're just starting to uh, mop up a little bit and... Uh, where have the other guys gone? Ah, we don't know where the other guys have gone because I've lost visibility. Okay, that does indeed make sense. Are you guys actually moving out at this point? Yeah, you guys have now started moving out. So at this point, yeah, you guys also start moving in. Mercenaries first, but I want you behind them. It's 1,200 strength, which is a bit much to be honest, but we should be able to handle this. I mean, this mercenary force has got proper cruisers and everything. These guys will go down, then we'll take this place back. Okay, good. The armor's going down nice and fast. Reinforcements coming in. Now, at this point, at this point, we should be fine. And also, we found some minor artifacts and a first league artifact. Okay, we're making some progress with the first league. That's good. You guys just assist knocking that down. That cruiser I found with all of the double plasma. Oh, we've got loads of lovely colours around here. Right, this thing's going to belong to us momentarily. We know where you guys are and I can see some distance away right now. This is good. We're starting to win some fights here. We're starting to win some fights. And uh, war exhaustion is looking, uh, yeah, pretty bad 
over on their side, which works for me. Now, where are you guys going next? You guys are going further and further south. Okay. The question is, aha! We've got visibility of these guys right now. So, these guys are now just going over... They're moving over to there, actually. Okay, they're moving over to... Oh, not to Rim! I like Rim! Rim belongs to me, you bastards. Right. They might actually reunify, sort of by accident. Which would be very annoying indeed, but... Okay, the problem is that's another 1,200. This is basically unguarded, though. Okay. Where do I go at this point? Probably, I stick around this bit of space. I take back the Spark Shellac blockade, and then we just hold in this bit of space and use these space stations to my advantage. Yeah, all forces, converge on the Spark Shellac blockade, please. Ah, yes, and speak of the devil, we've actually managed to take Skullrum, meaning uh, the science vessel I kept here for this exact reason can now begin the archaeological dig, which is marvellous. Because the scientist I've set aside is in fact an archaeologist, so 25% uh, bonus speed, uh, very, very good indeed. He's going to start getting on with that. So what do we know about this place? A labyrinthine city littered with junk, towering ramshackle buildings pieced together from scraps of repurposed materials. As far as I can see, mountains of knickknacks, ornaments and artefacts. The tiny rat-like inhabitants do not produce any goods of their own, but were proficient spacefarers who most likely pilfered the things they needed, as well as a whole lot of things they did not need from other alien cultures. Right, so I've discovered the space skaven. Got it. And the UV lasers are unlocked. Whether we've got time to do those upgrades right now, uh, not sure about that. So uh, we'll see. We're we'll flipping C. More energy, please. I desperately need more energy because I'm losing systems. So I'm losing uh, everything for the time being. You guys should be moving in momentarily. We've actually got ourselves... Oh, now that's a thought. Yeah, we've just actually taken out a station that's therefore dropped debris that is consistent with the tech level of these guys. Oh, I can steal all of your tech. Right. Right, 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 right. Well, that's bloody useful, actually. Right, you, my good man, you're not doing anything important right now. Get over here. No, no, no. Move over here, please. Move over here and start researching this project. I want this debris scanned. It's going to be beautiful. And I'm guessing, yeah, the mercenaries are getting ahead of the rest of it purely because they've got the better thrusters, so they naturally gravitate towards the front. Irritating that this is uh, so strong. I am going to take some losses here, but reinforcements are coming up the rear. Have you guys got any point defense, by the way? I don't know, but your shields seem to be holding uh, pretty well. Yeah, you know what? This is going just fine. This is going absolutely fine. Where are you guys right now? Yeah, they've pretty much knocked over the entirety of the southern bit of my empire, which is not great. Not great at all, to be honest. And they're sort of reunifying, but... No, actually, they're not reunifying. They're moving back over here. Good. If you guys want to come and attack me at the blockade, you are flipping welcome. Everybody, get over here behind this station who's yelling at me. Oh, it's the whole fastens. Obviously, I need them to be dicks to me right now. That's precisely what I need. Everything is going to be okay. If you guys are seriously... Yes, 1,600 is coming in this direction. That's about half their fleet right there, which I can pick off immediately. These guys are now regrowing their shields, regrowing their everything. If I just keep them at the back, let them provide some extra firepower. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the worst thing in the world at all. And you guys have got, aha, the disruption field generator is present and correct. Okay, this works for me. This really works for me. Now, where else have we got problems here? You're back at Event Horizon. Where are you going now? You're heading north for some reason. Also, my skilled archaeologist has just... No, he hasn't done anything. Hang on, what have you discovered? We've just discovered something that belongs to an empire. We don't know who the hell they are. Right, um, Spirons, you must know who those guys are. Any chance... Yes, you guys like me. Any chance we could swap information? Because I feel like you know about less people than I know about. So, marvellous. In fact, actually... They might even be willing to pay for it. And uh, that'd be good, actually. That'd be very good indeed. Yeah, you know what? 49 alloys. I'll flipping take that. Swapping comms for comms. Flipping done. So they'll say yes to that. Then we'll figure out who the hell these bastards are. Please, for the love of God, be... Oh. No, it's not one thing, but... Oh, it's a league. Don't be a trade league. 
please be... Okay, Erudite Explorers. So, uh, massive cats, fun to stroke, and they are egalitarian materialist. Not xenophile, but probably not dicks. Okay, that's good. Those guys are not dicks. I'm just happy that they're not dicks. Never mind, they just immediately closed the border to me. Okay, the 1,600 is most definitely coming in this direction. Because they kind of have to. Right now, they're literally trapped behind enemy lines. And, ooh, gravity is desire. Yes, we are indeed doing the horizon signal simultaneously. So, uh, yes, most definitely send the vessel to the coordinates of gravity is desire, time is sight, calling someone by name. I am sure it will in no way go wrong. Send the vessel to those coordinates. The downside about this is, yes, you do lose science vessels and you do lose scientists. Though, I did make sure to actually send a scientist who wasn't that good. I didn't send our archaeologist, for example. So, uh, everything's A-OK. -okay. Everything's fine. It's all going to be brilliant. That guy has yelled the worm and then he just disappears. Also, I get a giant pile of physics, so that's nice too. We'll pick that up later. I'm sure it's all A-OK. -okay. Also, oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got ourselves potentially... Oh, oh, well, that's just flipping marvellous. So, the Natfankans aren't getting involved here. This is the Bavia, but presumably you guys are. Yeah, you guys are just absolutely shattering those lands, so that's going to fall back into our possession. Good, 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 though. Oh, okay. The main force, that is, oh, that's one of the Spuxilaks. Right, well, that's good. One of the Spuxilaks is currently being kept busy, just like bombarding a planet or something. So, you guys have fun dealing with that. I've got my own problems. I've also just picked up a bit of an endgame plan here, which is uh, this system, Redmon, that these guys have occupied. Can't help but notice, they've set up a tiny colony here. It is, uh, yeah, incredibly small. In fact, potentially there's no one actually on it. Ah, it's because they're colonising it right now. Now, if I were to take that off them when it was tiny and thus can only be so much trouble, I'd have brought into my empire a couple of aliens who like the cold, and uh, as we've established previously, there are a lot of good quality cold planets in my empire. These guys, if they could be brought round to my way of thinking, could actually be incredibly flipping useful. Oh, but here they come. 1,500 strength right there, but they're also a tiny, tiny bit battered here. Okay, you guys, pull back. I want my troops at the rear. I want the mercenaries at the front, and I want, yeah, additional firepower being provided by the station. So you guys stay about there. You guys fall back about here. This is the big one. This is an incredibly... Ah, oh, no, they're backing off immediately. They know something's not right here. Engage them. If we can actually pin them, do it. Just get over there right now. How long until they're allowed to warp out? They're warping out in uh, five days. No, unfortunately, we won't be able to... Oh, no. No, bad luck there. Okay. They are falling back now. They're falling back. They know they're in trouble. That's a shame. If I'd realised they were going to be that smart, I'd have actually been waiting for them right there. However, what we do have is... Well, what are you guys doing right now? Okay, you guys heading back to Rasselgethi. Well, that's fine. That's all absolutely okay. You guys... In fact, start heading, uh, yeah, due north. Because the Spuxilac blockade uh, probably can't defend itself. But it can come close, damn it. It can come close. And yeah, drop the mining stations up north, around Fuley, around there. How do you guys feel about me? You're still fine, despite the border friction. They're not wanting to form a non-aggression pact just yet. Just because, well, mainly they've got too many of them. Okay, this station should almost certainly be upgraded. So, uh, let's just make sure this place is, you know, at least remotely defended. And as we slowly run out of territory to actually expand into... Uh, yeah, expand over in this direction, because there's some good stuff around here. So, take this black hole, then take these two territories, because uh, that's some good science. Okay, for the time being, we've still got visibility of this fleet. So, this fleet is now heading uh, back down south, possibly uh, into this territory... You guys are, oh dear. Right, so the Spuxilax appear to actually have uh, taken occupation of... Uh, not yet, actually. They're retreating. Are you actually retreating right now? Yes, you guys are totally retreating. Okay, that works for me. And uh, we've made our first little breakthrough. 
over on the planet of junk. Toppled over buildings, crashed spaceships, lumps of melted junk and trinkets burned to a crisp indicate that the former inhabitants of Scorum 5 fled their homes in the midst of a losing battle against a superior foe. The presence of bodies bearing foreign military insignia suggests it may have been infighting between clans of rats native to different homeworlds. Their evacuation efforts were impeded by their unwillingness to abandon their treasured trinkets and many lost their lives scrabbling to save completely mundane items. One artifact, however, seems to have held a special place in their society, the Rubricator. It appears that they fought long and hard to save it, but ultimately had to leave it behind. Alright, ten minor artifacts, move straight on to the next. Because, yeah, the difficulty here is weirdly low, actually, so we should be able to make fast progress. Okay, my fleets are moving in right now. They've probably arrived a bit early, to be honest, and... Uh, are you guys backing off? You're not backing off just yet. Okay, all fleets, all fleets, all fleets. Form up over here. It seems like they're willing to engage. The moment the actual thing starts firing, at that point... Move in, move in, move in. Okay, move in. We've got to be... Yep, yeah, we're in range. We just need to make sure we're in laser range. And now... Okay, now this. This should work pretty darn well, actually. Oh, they're starting to warp out already. In come my fleets. The mercenaries right at the front. Bonus firepower coming off the station. Oh dear. Oh flipping dear. Oh no. Hasn't worked out well for you today, has it? No. No, it has not. Boom. We've got ourselves a victory here. We've got ourselves a flipping victory. Right. Bring these guys back over here to the Spark Shellax. And have we gone straight on to another flipping archaeological event right there? Right, you are making fast flipping progress. Also, that would appear to be a giant vault full of gold. So yeah, we most definitely need that. So we've got ourselves a digital inventory of every single item complete with their origins, gross misrepresentations of their intended uses, as well as some highly unhelpful notes on where to find them. The Rubricator, described as a thingamajig maker with magical powers, has its place to the right of the Empress's lilac ribbon, under her snout swabs, on the four-legged box with the funny face. Wherever that is. So, okay, we're still going to need to do some searching around yet. And now we've moved up to difficulty three, but I do have a rank five scientist, so uh, this should still be eminently manageable. And we've got a diplomatic process coming in here, so... Uh, okay, the Quiptilium Primum lads, despite the fact that they're actually... Okay... You're xenophobes, but I'm honestly not going to say no. What do you want, by the way? I'm guessing we've got a common enemy or something. They've just given me another 1,400 minerals too. Okay, they must have a reason for this. They presumably have... Oh no, are you guys actually properly grouped together at this point? No, I think it's just an odd coincidence you guys happen to have the exact same colours. I think it might be because, yeah, they actually hate the Sidimartus more than they hate me. So, uh, they kind of see me potentially as a useful ally against them in future. We'll have to see. Also, uh, it's 2233. Okay, we're two years into the hire of these ships. That means probably what we want to do is... Well, hang on. Where's the rest of that fleet right now? I don't actually know. What do I want to do as a priority? I wouldn't mind uh, taking all of this back, quite frankly. Because, yeah, your war exhaustion... Uh, not going spectacular, and I want to make sure they haven't actually occupied any of my space, because uh, if they haven't occupied my space, they can't in any way claim it down the line. So, uh, these two sectors are crucial. You know what, guys? Get back over here, actually. Everybody form up over here. We're going to do the long trip round, uh, and just make absolutely sure that we've locked down all of our own systems. And also, the science vessel can now move in to perform the research, because... oh. Oh, flip, it's the Almertas. We found an old friend. Hello there, Almertas. Uh, so, peaceful traders. You say peaceful traders. I'm not convinced you're that peaceful. Still, we've got Xenophiles. Oh, but of course, they're Megacorp Xenophiles. Can't do anything with them. Also, they're right at the far side of the galaxy, so I have no idea why they said hello right now. Still, they do seem to be doing well, so congratulations, lads. Okay, we've got visibility of a fleet over there. Presumably, yeah, got horribly battered during the last fight. Currently in the process of uh, desperately trying to recover. So that's all absolutely fine. That won't be able to make it past the Spuck Shellac blockade. So uh, we've got time to do the rounds. Lock down all of this stuff for me. We also know, yeah, we've beaten one fleet. Another fleet is over here. 
What fleet is that, by the way? That is... Oh! Okay, they've also hired mercenaries. Right, that's a problem. Still, those guys aren't going to be interested in me. They're all the way over here dealing with these guys. But yeah, 4,300. That is going to annihilate these guys. I feel like you guys are going to be in a lot of trouble, actually. I suspect your fleet's already been well knackered, actually. Yes. Right, in short, yeah. This war might actually go okay for me. But for my allies down south, could be an absolute flipping disaster. Okay, we've got visibility of a new fleet down over here. Hang on, we did have visibility of them. Here we go. They are currently... Right, they're just knackering small outposts down over here. Nothing major just yet. Technology, Corvette hold points. I don't know whether that needs a retrofit. Starhold! Oh, flip. Starhold or destroyers. Oh, that's... That's tough. Take the star hold. Take the star hold. It's going to take a little bit of time to do, but we need superior defense on our borders. That's really, really important right now. Our current defenses are insufficient. Right, my forces are moving in and reclaiming this here trade outpost for me. We're losing a little bit of strength here, but nothing, nothing too major. We've lost maybe a handful of corvettes. Nothing too much. All of you guys uh, just keep swinging south. Now we've taken that. Yeah, actually, this shouldn't be too difficult to do. Start just swinging by here, knocking down all of this. And uh, more fleets moving in over there. That is... Oh! The horizon signal's showing up again. Hello there. So, they're requesting Nip Grib Nash. Who's Nip Grib Nash? I've got a horrible feeling that's our incredibly expensive admiral that we actually purchased to lead our fleets, because that doesn't sound like a typical name we use. Of course it flipping is. Right, we paid 2,000 energy for this person. Okay, let them go. Let them flipping go. And that means I need to buy myself a new Admiral. Okay, just sell some minerals. That gets me back over 2,000. Uh, right, guys, guys, I need a new Admiral. I kind of lost the last one. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That wasn't my admiral. That was technically the admiral of the mercenaries, who I am physically not allowed to assign a new admiral to. So that fleet has just been... Oh, flip. That fleet has just been massively weakened, and I can't even replace it. Well, anyway, Nip Grub Nash has decided that, yeah, beyond a black hole... It's dark, but that's not a problem. We can live in the dark. I never thought of that. But of course, we can live here forever if the worm will only wait. And unfortunately, you've gone missing too. Right, so we've lost the leader of the mercenaries to the worm, which is weird. This is fascinating, by the way. And uh, yeah, actually, you can actually stand down in favor of... You're actually in a battle right now. Okay, as soon as we're done with this battle, you can stand down in favor of the second mercenary leader I just hired. Because now we've got two of them. And let's get some reinforcements because, yeah, we do actually have... Well, I say we've got some alloys. We've got, like, one alloy. So try and reinforce as best you can. More importantly, the science vessels have made it to the debris. They're currently doing that scan right there. Now, that's huge. That's absolutely huge. We've got two good bits of debris here. That bit's kind of garbage for some reason. This bit's really damn good. That's going to unlock all sorts of technology for me. Okay, Rim is just being knocked over. No problem there whatsoever. And a new breakthrough pertaining to the Rubricator. So, we've located a foul stench. The excavating team has discovered the source of a foul stench which is ill-boding. Closer to the centre of the city are enormous piles of dried faecal matter and pools of corrosive bile that exude toxic levels of hydrogen sulphide, making protective equipment necessary to proceed further. The archaeologists could not identify the alien DNA in the faecal matter, but the piles contain partially digested hoarders. Whatever consumed these aliens swallowed them whole. Even more disconcerting is the discovery of a fresh pile. Well... Crack on. Good luck with it. I'm sure that's fine. And yeah, we have indeed successfully knocked over that. So I think these guys have naffed off over here. Possibly are you guys all planning to join together at this point? What are you guys even doing right now? Moving, but we don't know where to. Okay, 
probably the best thing we can do at this exact moment in time, head round over here, knock this down, knock this back into my possession because it's valuable, and then just go and hide here at the Spuck Shellac blockade. So, all forces, just handle that as best you can. Then we'll heal up at the Spuck Shellac blockade, and maybe try and take a bit of territory back. We'll see. Ah, that would be why the Inari aren't getting involved. They're technically not involved in the war. Actually, it's just me and the Bavia that have been pulled in, but unfortunately, yeah. The Bavia haven't suffered much yet, but I'm not sure they've really sent in their whole fleet yet. Actually, maybe they have. That's looking battered. I think, unfortunately, the hive minds are in a fair bit of trouble, and oh dear. Yeah, it's the mercenary forces, isn't it? A hundred percent it is. These guys have been smart enough to hire mercs just like me, and they're going to win them the war against the hive mind. The best I can hope for is... I'm not actually a hundred percent sure, because it kind of feels like, oh dear, we could be we could be in a lot of trouble, actually. I feel like you guys are not exactly that strong. You guys are about to be annihilated. You guys are doing okay-ish. Oh, we are, however, back in a position where we can declare rivalry over here. Yes, I'm going to declare some rivalry against you. Screw you. Um, that does mean I would be able to send marauders. So, good raiding target. And Spuck Shellax. How much would that cost me again? Three grand. Okay, I can't exactly afford three grand right now. To be honest, I can't really afford anything, actually. No, not really. Can't really afford a thing. Okay, you come over here. We might be able to build something there, but honestly, is that even worth it? No, the best way to expand would be you. Come up over here, take that territory. That's valuable territory. We need to take both of these over here. Oh, that's the salvage. Oh, look at that. Look at flipping that. Who's just closed their borders? Okay, you are being really hot and cold to me, guys, all right? You've given me a big pile of money. Now you're being dicks. Now, what have we got here? We've got... ah. I suspect these guys are... No, they might be regrouping. These guys might be regrouping together. I'm not really sure what they're planning right now, but they've taken big piles of territory. Okay, the absolute bare minimum, we need to hold our territory as best we can. Mercenary is still doing an excellent job right here. Those cruisers are absolutely kicking ass and taking names. Uh, taking some light knocks here, and uh, we're actually ready for a new tradition as well. Okay, I should probably rush an Ascension perk. I mean, I would not mind jumping ship to Supremacy because, uh, yeah, that would give me access to Overwhelming Force. Until I could either have Overwhelming Force or I could have an Ascension perk. Probably take the Ascension perk. Yeah, let's take the Admin Capacity up by 20 because uh, that should actually knock me down to... Yeah, I'm not even at Admin Cap anymore. Marvellous. So, plus 20 and plus 20 from Corporate and Courier Network. So... Uh, that will make my tech faster to research. So uh, that's valuable. That's valuable right there. And Rasselus will now come back into my possession too. The mercenaries are doing a good job. We've still got them for the next two years. So I need to figure out what the best thing to do with them in the meantime actually is. Because uh, I can't actually afford uh, to rehire them. Though uh, I could actually send, uh, yeah, the mercenary forces just to do a raid against the Spuck Shellax. Might not be spectacular, but it might do something at least. How are you guys doing, by the way? You do not have much left at all, do you? Actually, there is still a Bavia force over here. They're just picking their targets very, very carefully indeed. And logically, if the actual bastards hired their mercenaries just after I hired mine, they've only got them for another two years. And we've also got contact from the Silicron Colonel. Okay, hello there. Right, robot. Should have expected that, I suppose. Okay, so you guys are over there. Honestly, you seem to be mostly keeping to yourselves. How are you getting on, by the way? Superior to me. They like me. Interference policies, NFR diplomacy. Right, I'm guessing you guys are rogue servitors, given you seem to actually like me being a xenophile. Well, no matter. My fleets are now... Oh, hello. We've got ourselves... Oh, it's a tiny fleet. Tiny, tiny fleet. In fact, that's weirdly weak for six corvettes. Only 357 for the amount of tech these guys should have. Yeah, that's a bit odd. Ah, they're not that strong because they've only got three spots. And they've given one over to point defense, which is going to be uh, totally garbage. Are you guys planning to attack me right now? Because 
That would not be a smart move by you, to be honest. At the bare minimum, I have now taken back all of my territory. You guys need to all chill out and just heal up as best you can and... Okay, Horizon Signal, I'm a little bit busy right now, okay? Who does it bloody want this time? Prisha Bandry. Who's Prisha Bandry? She is a scientist aboard the ISS Vagabond, which I believe is currently not doing much. Yes, you may have her. Okay, fleet's getting some quick repairs here. And um, what else do we have? You know what? Uh, try and reinforce as best you can. Uh, bit on the expensive side, but whatever. What are you offering me, by the way? Ooh, 1,700 energy credits from the Spirons up north. Yes, 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 yes. That's halfway to rehiring this fleet if that's what I need to do down the line. Because I'm guessing their fleet is somewhere around here now. Because, yeah, they've clearly taken all of this stuff. They're just basically uh, making their way towards the capital. So, uh, I'm so sorry, guys. But I think you're pretty damn boned. Then again, I don't know what claims they've got down. They can't take this territory unless they've actually got it claimed. So, uh, let's actually figure that out here. So, diplomatic map mode. Uh, you have got claims down on O. Okay, they've got all the claims down they need. They might be about to take your home world. Sorry about that. Okay, repairs are not going to take too long over here. We've still got a very decent amount of strength. We've got two good quality admirals at this point. We've got some reinforcements coming in. Not many, but, you know, some. They should be... Uh, they've got to be done momentarily. Okay, they're not done because I've not got time moving on. They should now be done momentarily. Their fleet is backing away. I think we should actually... Oh! I suspect that was them moving over there. Now, the horizon signal. Where the end comes from. So, uh, we at this point have fed the black hole two scientists and one admiral. What have we learnt on this occasion? The ship that's returned is different. In fact, it's a different ship. It's Yasuki Mori's vessel. That was the very first scientist we sent in long ago. Lost these years past, drifting now away from the exit point. A salvage team finds it pristine and empty, no trace of crew, no sign of violence. But there's a journal entry in Yasuki Mori's name, titled What Was, Will Be. Our scientists review it nervously. Impossible one says, I hope so, says another. The ship is renamed the Foundling and returned to service. The signal, dead or sleeping, says nothing at all, ever again. You say this, I get the feeling there might be more, because we've done this before. But on the plus side, we do get Entropic Recursion, which is lovely. Right, the Vagabond will be broken down because we don't need it anymore. The Foundling, however, we might well want to bring that one back into service. In fact, I'm not sure we even need the Trailblazer either, to be honest. Yeah, you know what? That can actually be broken down too. The Foundling, however, will most definitely be allowed to continue serving. And we've taken Brocken up here as well. So this is good. That's very, very good indeed. Get the research done first, then get the mining in play. The Empire is uh, doing all right. It's doing um, sort of all right. You guys are... Yeah, you guys need a little bit of healing yet. I think these guys are on their way back to me. I would like to go and knock over this station right now. Then get a claim down on it. Maybe see if we can eat that. That's nothing of any note. Okay. All three fleets, get ready to move in. All right, then after you're done, back off. I want to actually hit them back. Those bastards don't get to invade me without retaliation. How's this planet doing, by the way? Nearly colonized, about two-thirds of the way there. If I could end this war with just one of them inside my borders, I would consider that a victory. Because then we can start colonizing cold planets en masse. Okay, the invasion has begun. Mercenaries up front, of course, because, yes, I'd rather the mercenaries actually took the worst of it. These guys have got absolutely no defense whatsoever. Shields have already collapsed, and uh, we've got laser and plasma. My own ship's coming in with plasma weaponry uh, right there. So congratulations. Uh, you guys have just lost a system with an actual colonized planet in it, you stupid losers. Now, there's another one up here that's 800 strong. Honestly, I may as well just go and knock them all over because, uh, yeah, that's actually just worth some stuff to me, all right? That's just worth some good stuff. And actually, this is all worth money. That's worth science over there. Okay, until we see... Oh. When I say until we see them, yeah, they're right there. Okay, um, everybody back to the Spuck Shellac blockade, please. Which direction are they heading in right now? Okay, so they're knocking over this. 
that's fine. They're probably going to head north into Rasselus after that. Okay, the birds want a non-aggression treaty. That's a very, very good sign indeed if the birds want a non-aggression treaty up north. That's good. That's very, very good indeed. That's at least one border I don't need to worry about so much. Now, you guys have taken this. At this point, you are heading... Hang on. Where are you going? I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. They're actually heading down south again. Okay, that's fine. And you guys are being attacked by... Okay, have you actually grown enough to defend these guys by yourself? Because I suspect they might annoyingly be able to take that back, even though it's 1,100, just because the armor and shielding hasn't grown back enough. Then again, oh, yeah, I suspect so. I suspect so. Actually, their shields are going down too. Oh, that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be tight. I don't know. Yeah, they're starting to warp out. They're starting to warp out. And uh, there is a lot of hull here. The armor's harder to get through. Uh, they're running out of everything. They're starting to warp out, actually. Research done. That's energy from technicians. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, 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 oh. Look at all of this gorgeous, sexy stuff. Right. Omega Theory. That's interesting. So, yeah, that could be of use. Do I need it just yet, though? Honestly, probably not. Uh, the priority is... Uh, it's got to be plasma throwers. Plasma throwers are just so damn good. They're just too damn good to ever say no to. Even though, weirdly, that's one of the tanks I didn't just unlock through scanning. That just came up by pure coincidence. Get it done anyway. 40 months. Okay, presumably we're benefiting from, yeah, research agreement plus 25%. Okay, we're getting some benefits right there. I don't know who's going to win this one. It looks like it's actually going to be this platform. Because now, concentrating all fire, screw you. Screw flipping you. Ah, yes, and don't forget, we've got an automated shipyard here that a construction ship needs to go and have a look see at. That, in theory, could actually be an extra free ship. And we could do with an extra free ship right now. We're, we're teetering right on the edge, though, floating 2,300. We're not in a bad place to uh, sell some minerals and then immediately afterwards, uh, yeah, rehire the fleet, if need be. What are you guys offering, by the way? What do you want? Okay, a research agreement. Um, I've already got a research agreement. I don't really want to be paying for more. Are you guys that far ahead of me? Technology is superior, but not overwhelming. How are you guys doing, by the way? You guys have got yourselves uh, technology equivalent, fleet equivalent. Right, I think I've basically allied with the two flimsiest bastards in the entire galaxy. None of my friends are actually doing well right now. Oh, Nat Fanka, the capital, has actually been uh, occupied at this point. Right, that's... That's never good. That's never good. And by the way, sorry, we're going to be saying no to that. I don't think I actually need it. Okay, this is... Uh, this is a problem. The Bavia still have uh, some decent amount of strength. It's not spectacular, but it's there. The problem is I don't know where the enemies are. I would have thought there was one fleet of 1,600 somewhere in this part of the world. But if there was, I should be able to see it. Unless it's in here. I'm not sure I've got visibility of this system. It must be an Epsilon Eridani. Okay, but then why can't you guys see it? Have you guys only got... Ah, you've only got basic radar too. Hello, who wants to come and join my empire? Oh, yes, a talent exchange program. 100% yes. And we've given some weapon labs a bit of a scan and got ourselves super solid materials. And no one seems to be dead, so that's nice. There we go. I think they actually just sent... Did you just send a flipping... Right, you just sent a transport fleet into this system. Straight on top of these guys. So you're about to lose your army to uh, 1,500. Not much. I've got my fleet for another... How long? Another six months or thereabouts. Possibly seven or eight. Okay, if that's true, then this fleet is probably going to be unhired in the not-too-distant future as well. Guys, we might, just might, be able to strike back on this one, okay? I'm going to send literally everything I've got in this direction. If we can wipe out that fleet, this fleet I think is, uh, yeah, just trapped up here. They're never getting past this. I now own this. By the way, can I actually get down a, a claim on this? Yes, I can. You know what? I'm just going to put down a claim. Screw you. I've now got a claim down on a system I own. 
We just need to wipe out this one fleet, knock down these two platforms, uh, then guys, if we could all join together, that'd be marvellous. And oh, who'd have thought it? The worm wasn't done with us yet. So a mysterious loop temple under Snorf itself. Who'd have seen that coming? Yeah, we're going to be studying that, by the way. Yeah, just make it happen right now and... Who's actually doing it? I'm not sure who's doing it, but whoever's doing it, do it. And we're getting close with the rubricator here. So in the very center of the city, overlooking the main square, is a grand, ostensibly decorated palace with a garish neon sign advertising the Empress Motel. Inside it are lavish chambers filled to the brim with treasure from which the Empress and her board of trusted advisors governed. It's also where the hoarders held their last stand, defending their Empress and her precious rubricator. With any luck, the Rubricator can still be found in its usual spot by the Empress's Lilac Ribbon. I'm gonna guess the Rubricator's actually garbage, but I really hope it does something good, damn it. Right, we're up to difficulty 5, but he's up to level 6, so uh, we're still okay for the time being. Also, hang on. Hang the flip on. Hang the flip on. Tundra World 60%. Who have we got inside our empire? Who's flipping moved inside our empire who likes cold? Ah, hang on. You're working under the assumption that I've already got access to these guys. I don't have access to these guys, but you're just kind of assuming I already do because I've got them occupied and they are down on the ground right now. So, I mean, okay. Hopefully we are able to get hold of them. That'd be marvellous. And oh, it looks to me like, oh dear. Right, you guys have actually moved in to attack the Spuck Shellax, and uh, I'm not sure whether that's going to work out well for you, actually. I mean, uh, you're softening them up a little bit for us, uh, which is great, but it feels like you're losing, unfortunately. And uh, there's only so fast I can get to you. Sorry about that. Coming as fast as I can here. Oh, the unhinged screamers are on their way right now. Okay, the problem is I cannot fight the unhinged screamers. Who's swearing at me right now? Oh, it's the Picari. Well, that's that's fine, all right? They don't seem to be causing too much trouble for me. Hopefully, they'll attack some of these bastards or something. We're just right now cutting our way through all of this as fast as we can, knocking down all of this, but oh, you guys are so screwed. Actually, you have been able to take out one of these guys' armies. That's good. And we've got a new war. Who's at war with who right now? The Almetas of... The Almetas have attacked the Picari. You are literally on the far side of wormholes. They've probably got wormhole tech already sorted out. I mean, it can't be Elgate. It must be a wormhole, right? I mean, uh, I hope it's a wormhole. It really should be a wormhole. Otherwise, you guys are being really flipping optimistic there. Yeah, it must be this wormhole, which probably comes somewhere over here or something. And the Inari are no longer rivaled with the Spuxilax. Probably because they're too flipping weak to be so. And they're actually coming in for... Okay, they're coming in for another attack against me, I'm assuming. That's all absolutely... Yeah, okay, they're never breaking through that. Was that another war that just broke out? Okay, the galaxy is starting to be on fire. You guys are going for the Picari Decimators too. Right, I'm guessing that... Yeah, there must be a wormhole somewhere that all of you guys are using to attack these bastards. Maybe this wormhole, I'm not sure. Oh, we've got problems. Yeah, the mercenary contract has come to an end uh, a little bit earlier than it needed to. We can extend the contract with uh, another 4,000. Right, um, to the market, nice and fast. Everything's under control. We can just about afford this. Yes, extend the contract, please, because the war's not actually over. Okay, so now we've got them till 2241. Which I feel like we need. And uh, what's that? Oh, that's independence guaranteed of... Okay, of the Nat Fankards by the Inari. That's a bit on the odd side, but okay. And more wars are breaking out. Okay, that's a really good one. The Hulfassans are actually picking on the Picari as well. And that one makes sense. And two means they're probably not going to be worried about me so much. Okay, everybody's just attacking the Picari. That's fine. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. So, as we saw during the Almerta playthrough, we have indeed discovered the Loot Temple, dedicated to uh, the Waiting Worm or the Worm in Waiting. So, naturally, I'd say get everyone inside the temple, massive visitor center, hooray for the worm. 
Well, things just get weirder and weirder with the worm because uh, Strike Force Manticore is located a small, minimally powered artificial object. Despite the fact we don't own a Strike Force Manticore, we've only got Cerberus, Kraken, and the Frenzied Volunteers, but okay, we've got a Strike Force Manticore now. Possibly that's the name of one of the reinforcement forces that's currently on the move that doesn't actually get listed in the fleet, but does still technically have a name until it merges into the fleet. That's the only guess I've got there. So, okay, what have we got here? Ah, yes, the mysterious corpse of the messenger who has written what was, will be, what will be, was in blood inside this little ancient pod. Marvellous. So, yeah, we're going to be studying that messenger. Why the hell not, eh? And we've also got a friendly snifflet ship that's saying, hey, I'm over here, despite the fact the ship doesn't actually exist. We're just going to say hello, actually. Our admiral of that name is alive. Is he alive? I don't remember an admiral of that name. Are you sure we've got an admiral of that name? No, we have no admiral of that name, but the worm is a confusing thing, so what have you? Ah, he's decided he is in fact Quang Shen, who is in fact, yes, actually an admiral. So that's good. My punishment is to die in battle against you. Please end me. I'm sorry. And make sure we just ask all of the questions because it's free physics and society and all of that business. So yes, indeed, he's the same guy, just trapped in a loop. And if you want to end it, why wait? A warship is full of ways to die. Don't you remember? Of course you won't yet, and you might not now. Not if you do it right. The loop needs its sacrifices, and it needs them just so. And what is the loop? Tell me more. The loop is what came first and what comes next. The worm in waiting, and I suppose the worm is the loop. Let's say time is a labyrinth, then the loop is its monster. Or its maker? No, I can't explain it, but I'm sure everything's fine. You know what? We're militaries. We get 150 influence for letting you die in battle, because you clearly want to. So, it's powering weapons. Battle stations. Do we know where it is? Because I suspect it's actually taking on a reinforcement fleet right now. And, uh, yes, there we go. It's actually going to win. <laughs> Embarrassingly, it is actually going to win. Yes. Because, oh no, it's... It's trying to take out... Okay, it's going to be destroyed by a station. Okay, now that that's just embarrassing right there. Okay, well, leave him to his fate. I'm sure that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. We just continue mopping up this. If we can do, draw up with literally whatever's left out of you bastards. Maybe, all together, we can turn this around. And yes, indeed, Quang Shen is silent in the days that follow. It's no small thing to hear that you're already dead. But in time, that silence becomes determination and an almost reckless confidence. Foredoomed to a rendezvous. Marvellous. That actually does raise the question, potentially are you now going to be, uh, yeah, a better leader? Because you've got sublight speed plus 25% as opposed to uh, evasion plus 10, ship fire plus 10. No, we'll keep my hired admirals. They seem to be the better bet, quite frankly. So uh, we'll keep just knocking over all of this. And then maybe, once there's an open path, these guys will come and join me. Because I've got a couple of ship setters, yeah, follow. So if we're lucky, hang on, what are you guys doing, by the way? Oh, you guys can't possibly take this out. Ah, hang on. Why weren't you able to... Wait. Why were you able to... They must have come from up there. Okay, fine. What have you. Okay, we're floating a fair few, yeah, alloys and whatever's over here. Continue expanding over here into this little spur. Uh, you guys, uh, if you can, yeah, reinforce. Just reinforce a little bit over in that direction. More ships coming in. You guys, uh, reinforce if you can too. Uh, let's just get some more ships, please. More flipping ships. And uh, we have actually joined up with the Bavia. Marvellous. And the advanced shipyard did indeed produce one ship, but it's not looking particularly advanced. I mean, it is a frigate, which is not bad. So, uh, actually, I'm surprised that's only 156. That looks okay, to be honest, but you know what? Send it down to join up with the others. Now, is what I'm hoping for happening, it feels like some of our fleets are starting to move together at this point. If you guys would all like to, uh, you know, uh, simultaneously join up with me, if we can all actually get together here, we Go might be able Stop to start fighting. pushing them back. Oh, there's more wars going on. Luckily, it's more people attacking the Picari. Right, so basically it's open season on the Picari right now, which is uh, not great, actually. That's going to be a massive expansion opportunity for the whole Fassa. So that's 
It's a bit unfortunate in some ways. Meanwhile, I'm just stuck over here, basically trying to stop these guys from being dicks. I mean, we do have 1,700 of the Bavia right now. Moving to the Rulan system. Where is Rulan? Rulan is uh, right there. Not bad. Okay, you know what, guys? Join them. Head over to Rulan. There's some more over there. Where are the dangerous lads, though? You know what's fun? I don't see the mercenaries anymore. I think they've worn off, and I don't think you can actually afford to maintain them. So actually, the Nat Fankens are now striking back. Oh, you clever bastard. You were just holding back, keeping your powder dry. And now, now you're ready to turn this the flip around. And when I say turn this the flip around, we've actually hit 100% war exhaustion. Okay, we can be forced to make peace in 713 days, which would be, yeah, an enforced status quo, meaning any settlement that they've actually got occupied, that they have a claim on, will be handed over automatically. Which might mean I actually get Redamon. So, in theory, that might actually flip and work. By the way, where are all of you bastards? Okay, they are now pulling... They're now pulling everything together. They're now pulling literally everything together. Wait for these guys to join us. All right, we need to be moving all together. But over the next two years, we have to basically try and take back as much as we can. Fortunately, that's precisely what you guys are doing. Well done. Okay, knock them out of as much as we can. Because in order to take the capital, they need to both have the planet occupied and own the star base. Wait, hang on. If they have the planet occupied, but they don't have the star base, do they get the... I think you need to have both to get it in an enforced peace. If you're going to get the planet, then you... I don't know, but it's the best bet we've got. Also, 1,200 is now over here. Are you guys by any chance going to... Okay, you're going to go and try and attack that 1,200. That's all absolutely fine. There's... Okay, there's 931 over there, which is going to be a problem. You guys, get over here, intercept all of this. That's 1,000, uh, that's 500, that's... This is a bit tough, but I think my mercenaries can handle it. You guys swing north, stop reinforcements, getting on top of these bastards, please. Just swing north, do what you flipping can. Everybody, start moving. We've got about... Uh, it's not... Quite 4,000, but it's getting there. How are you guys doing, by the way? Okay, we're going to get right on top of that 500 and annihilate them. Good. There we go. You guys are going to be absolutely shredded before this force can get anywhere. Meanwhile, over here, what have you guys got? You guys have got... That's going to be to the wire, unfortunately. That's 700 right there. What else have you got? There's the 1,200. They're now coming in that direction. We've got this. I mean... Just. The problem is there's... Uh, what's that? Oh, that's not much. That's just a basic station over there. They've got more coming in. That's 500. We need to win this fight in a flipping hurry, actually. But actually, it looks to me like they're in a fair bit of trouble, actually. How's this fight going? How's your technology compared to theirs? I mean, if you've got the tech advantage, you might be able to do this. You're not doing badly, to be honest. You might do well enough to fight them to a draw. The problem is they've still got... That's 500 right there. 500 probably coming in this direction. Yeah, 500 reinforcements coming in. But if they're coming in waves, uh, we might be able to handle it. We can knock this out. Yeah, we've actually won that one. Okay, so uh, knock down this station right now. We've still got over 3,000 strength right here. That's only 500 on. How much time until peace? Still 559 days. These guys are down to... Oh, no! Peace was just agreed upon. You guys lost your flipping capital. Why? Why would you have agreed to that? Why would you have agreed to that? And why did you not get me red... We didn't get rid of Mom because we didn't occupy it, John! Because it was actually a planet! Okay. So. This has been a disaster. Okay, 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 okay. Everything's fine. Everything's under control. Everything's a-okay. Why did you agree to any of this? So, in the end, what's happened here is uh, I haven't lost anything. Okay, that's good. However, my enemies, the Spuxulax, didn't lose anything. The Seagog, my enemies, are now significantly stronger and significantly closer to me. 
My friends down south, the Nat Fankin, are now significantly weakened and will probably not be able to defend themselves. Uh, the Bavia might recover in time. They might recover in time. If they were smart, to be honest, at this point, they'd probably... You know what? Okay, you guys. What I need to do is probably join up with the Bavia and abandon the Nat Fankins. I think the Nat Fankins need to just be left to it, unfortunately. The thing is, how useful are the Inari to me? Honestly, not useful at all. Oh, bloody hell. What are we gonna do here? Okay, you know what? We're gonna focus on the positives here. What just happened was, I was engaged in a war that should have been completely unwinnable, which I survived without losing anything. My ally has been screwed over. I have not been screwed over. I'm fine. Everything's okay. During this war, we managed to expand a bit. We're getting down some new stations. We're slowly filling in the map. We've got a good relationship with the birds up north. That's pretty good stuff up there. Do I actually want to form any form of defensive pact? They must be at peace. Ah, you guys are technically at war with... Ah, yes, of course. You're attacking the... That is not a war in heaven, Stellaris. I think you're getting a bit confused here. But in theory, we might be able to form a defensive pact with them. Whether it's worthwhile or not, I don't know. When their fleet power is only equivalent to mine, uh, that doesn't feel spectacular. Yeah, I'm just a little bit worried here that everyone in the world uh, who's actually willing to do any form of deal with me kind of sucks, actually. You guys, you must know all sorts of people. Let's do a deal right now, alright? I'm willing to pay for comms. I need to know who's... Okay, be dicks, whatever. Actually, if you don't want to sell me comms, then I may as well just kind of actually sell you comms for money. Okay, I would do, but your resources menu is slightly bugging out right now. We'll come back to you later. Ooh, this is promising though. There's a federation somewhere because you've got federation association status. Okay, this time, seriously, we need to actually trade some comms here. Let's trade some comms. You really don't want to do that. Okay, I am willing to give you... Uh, yeah, you can have an active sensor link. We get on just fine. Seriously, have it for as long as you want. There we go. Active sensor link for 30 years. Uh, three alloys. Uh, that's your job. You're going to give me some comms now, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. That's what you're going to do. And you're going to tell me what the hell's going on. So... Uh, okay. Some great autocracy. Oh, blimey. You know about everything, including... Including the tenets of Tabby. Okay, well, we've got we've got everybody. You just filled out the entire cocking map. Gotcha. Okay, who of you guys is actually close by to me? So uh, we've got the Click Cooperative, uh, who are not Xenophiles. There is not a single Xenophile in this entire galaxy. There is not one flipping Xenophile in the entire universe. That's a mega church. That's no good at all either. That just gets in my way. But those guys are way over there. We'll deal with them later. Okay, I've just been through all the alerts. There is precisely one Xenophile in the entire galaxy as we've uncovered so far, which appears to be about two-thirds of the galaxy now. So, there's these guys, who are lovely, they're not Xenophiles, but, you know, they seem sort of decent and they're close by, so let's be friends with them. There is a Xenophile Trade League way up north. So that's... that's good. Okay, we've just discovered everything in the world. We've also discovered all our old friends who seem to have all spawned pretty much next to each other on the very far side of the galaxy. Tenants of Tabby, Infinite Pond, Pax Romana, Almet, Syndicate, and actually, the Tenants of Tabby have decided to... Yep, you guys have formed a flipping federation with a friendly, peaceful bunch of traders down south, so that's lovely. We've also got eyes on... Yeah, you guys are the... Yeah, we've got the Religious Fallen Empire over there, we've got the Materialist Fallen Empire right here, so we know where those those guys are at this point. Right, we've also got, oh, we've got some tiny, tiny states down over here. Hello, what are you guys precisely? You're probably a breakaway faction. Good beard, by the way. Ah, that makes sense. So my bird friends, uh, you've actually got association status with uh, Tenants of Tabby and the Trading Coalition. So they're a very, very long way away. Honestly, kind of too far away to be useful, unfortunately. Right, I was kind of hoping it might be you uh, that had formed some form of coalition. And also, uh, you hate me, because why wouldn't you? Everybody hates me. Yeah, I've got to say, I definitely would have rather spawned on that side of the galaxy. It's a nicer neighbourhood by a long, long way. Bunch of stuff going on around here, we don't know what it is just yet, but yeah. Bit more to be discovered yet, I suspect. Okay, 
you guys seem not massive dicks. Then we've got Fallen Empires. Uh, you seem okay-ish. You don't seem to actively despise me, which is welcome. Problem is, a bunch of these people up north have already actually got commercial packs with, uh, yeah, that trading coalition. Uh, which unfortunately means they're going to already be completely covered in branch officers. So, uh, no new branch opportunities for me up there, which is kind of the lifeblood I was counting on here. So, that's not worked out. Still, we do have peace, we do have influence, we do have alloys. So, uh, let's just expand the empire a bit, get some of the important bits filled in, the bare minimum that will be worth doing. But I suspect at the beginning of next month, that yellow's probably going to go, uh, yeah, red again, because... I don't think we've got anyone who's 60% habitability anymore. Oh, but this is nice. The tenants of Tabby have just sent me a giant pile of money. Who's a good cat? Julianus Vitinius, meanwhile, has just closed the border, so I guess you can't win them all. Okay, all forces, uh, return it to Snorf. Everybody return to Snorf, please. Just get back to Snorf, get back in orbit, everything will be fine. You meanwhile, yes, the foundling. Have you got anything left to do? Have we actually finally managed to scan all of the anomalies, all the rest of it? No, there's actually still a good one over there. Right, foundling, get over there. Get me whatever's going on inside a rank 8 anomaly. Because, yeah, that's high. That might be something good. Oh, flip, we've got someone new as well. We've actually got another extremely xenophile corporation. Hello over there. Yes, whoever you are, wouldn't mind being- Oh, blimey, what the heck happened to your empire? Right, I'm guessing someone's already pretty much murdered you, gotcha. You know what, let's have a non-aggression pact with these people, because uh, I may as well just start building up some trust, and... Okay, um... Mild concern. So, there's apparently some form of giant dragon. I didn't actually know there was going to be a giant dragon. I just assumed that, like, the running gag was going to be the rubricator was, like, going to be something really basic, like a pocket calculator or something. But no, no, apparently there's also a giant dragon. So, a snarling hissing fiend has appeared out of the void, and with one swipe of her giant talons, she has snatched the archaeological shuttle carrying the excavation team and the rubricator back to the ISS Diligent bending it open and prying the rubricator from within. It seems we finally have the displeasure of meeting the hoarding rat's assailants. The dragon must have been attracted by their countless treasures and made her nest within the royal palace, feasting upon their bodies. Perhaps she was on the prowl or observed from afar as we excavated the ruins, waiting for the right moment to strike. She appears to be growling something in our general direction. Okay, so definitely try and communicate rather than fighting, because... Giant dragon, okay, that's actually bigger than the planet. Let's let's try and be friends, if at all possible. Translate animal noises. The rats went squeak, squeak, squeak. Then their bones went crunch, crunch, crunch. Now it's your turn to tickle the inside of Shard's belly. Yes, you have been naughty, little ones. The rubricator belongs to Shard. Oh, well, this is all a little bit on the concerning side. Okay, so I'm feeling like we're probably not really in a position to demand the return of the Rubricator. So instead, I'm going to default to typical roleplay type inside the Snifflet's world and beg for mercy. I'm guessing this isn't necessarily going to work desperately well. Why? You look like a stomachache and a half. No thank you. But if you ever have the audacity to return, Shard will pick her teeth with your bones. Yes, she will. Now leave before I get hungry. Right, probably best we do that, actually. Yes, yeah, so... Okay, um, I think she's changed her mind on not eating me. Okay, why you wet my appetite, little ones? She purrs softly, then lunges. You just said I could go! I mean, she is saying neutral. Okay, let's just, um, let's just get out of here. Like, now, you guys just, yeah, return to Snorf. Get out of there, like... ASAP, please. That'd be great. And she's just going to... Uh, she's just going to chill out perfectly neutral. Right, so yeah, it's just basically one of the big dragons, except blue rather than red. Presumably a comparable sort of strength, and this is mildly annoying because uh, 
wouldn't have minded actually, you know, settling this planet, but what have you. And to confirm the Rubricator is a replicator, an ingenious alien invention that could make endless copies of just about any artifact. Right, and then it was briefly ours, then things went slightly to hell, got it. Still, we got 30 more artifacts out of it, so that's nice. And we finally got the Naval Logistics Office too. Okay, that's good stuff, that's very useful. And Fleet Command Limit. Plus 20 might be a little bit on the overkill side, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like we really need to double down on worshipping the worm. The worm might be able to help us. Screw it, get Omega Theory into production. Okay, Shan did just go hostile, but has now backed off. Okay, so we sadly cannot get this place sorted out. I wonder, actually, if you literally had a colonization ship right here when Shard spawns, could you take advantage of the few seconds she's neutral to get down onto the planet and actually colonize the damn thing? Because that would be fun. Also, Shard did just technically destroy my actual outpost. So uh, we now cannot see what the hell's going on and that's fallen out of my empire. So my empire now has a hole in it. Marvelous. Thanks, Shard. Okay, while I've been busy with war, what's been going on on my planet? So, uh, okay, we have got ourselves Tiny Sands up to six individuals right now. And what do you guys need to upgrade? Right, you need 10 before you can upgrade. However, you actually also need... Right, you need more jobs. You've got plenty of housing, but you need jobs. Well, we did just give up a fair bit of unity a while back, so... Okay, unity would be nice, but... We do actually have... Yeah, we've got a giant, giant pile of minerals right now. Get more alloys into production, please. More alloys in production. And as for Snorf... Yeah, we've got one unemployed worker right there, and only two available housing, so get a new city in production. Also, Tiny Sands, we could probably do with a bit more food, so get an agricultural district done after you're done. So, okay, that'll settle things up there. Over at Inaris, we're actually doing pretty well over here. This place is making really, really damn nice money. And with relationships between me and the birds of the north, yeah, very friendly. I would say uh, this territory is probably pretty safe just to be turned into uh, a great big hangar. So we can retrofit it down the line if we need to. Uh, for the time being, uh, yeah, anchorage, anchorage, and then once the first anchorage is done, uh, we should be able to actually get, yes, Naval Logistics Office. That's good. That's good uh, right there. To see the station could say as it is, meanwhile. Southern Outpost, we're going to keep heavily armed for the time being because, uh, yeah... The Spuck Shellax, I don't trust them at all. Same for the Spuck Shellax Frontier. Okay, the Trade Outpost, yeah, get that off-world trading company. That's not the worst thing in the world. And Tiny Sand Station, yeah, give those guys. Okay, don't give those guys anything right now because we've got no actual flipping alloys. But we are stepping up the alloy production. We should be fine. And yet more wars are breaking out, but it's just more people dogpiling the Picari, who seem to be... Yeah, losing territory fast, but unfortunately that's just sort of uh, helping people who aren't me. Except, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just remembered a very important change from, uh, what was it, uh, two versions ago or something. Which is you don't actually need someone inside your empire to get a colony ship set up anymore. If you've got yourself open borders with somebody, then you're allowed to make a colony ship with anyone they've got inside their empire. Which is why all of these planets are still yellow, because I've got access to, hello there, sexy, right, 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 we've got ourselves access to uh, you guys, because where on earth have you guys come from? Possibly you guys have been uplifted, but for whatever reason, there are some strong, charismatic, resilient, quarrelsome, tomb world preference sorts floating around. Presumably inside, yeah, the birds up north. So, uh, yeah, there's desert over there. So if we need desert, that's absolutely fine. You guys are thrifty, which is very, very nice indeed. Uh, there's also tropical. I from continental. Hang on. This might open up all sorts of interesting possibilities. Here we go. Dargon 3, which is size 23. Very decent generator world, potentially. And we've got 60% habitability through those lovely tomb world preference people. Now that's... That's fascinating. That's fascinating indeed. Tomb World preference people are brilliant because they can go uh, pretty much anywhere. It's a little bit expensive, but they can do just about whatever the hell they feel like it. And on top of that, we got ourselves a lovely continental world up here that could be uh, 
an excellent, excellent mining environment. As, of course, could the Relic World, but I suspect it's going to be a while till we're actually able to, you know, clear out the dragon there. Meanwhile, yes, indeed, my Netfanken friends, uh, I'm really sorry about this. I am so, uh, so sorry, but I'm not convinced that me and you should actually be in a defensive pact anymore. I don't actually think that's going to be uh, working for me, sorry. Though that does create, yes, a series of massive problems for me. Specifically the fact that I now don't have anyone who borders me who's actually friendly in any meaningful way. It's just dicks on every side. Now here's interesting. A whole bunch of people want research agreements with me. The Spirons and the friendly traders over here. Hang on. Which of you in terms of tech is furthest ahead? You are... Right, you're completely useless to me. Maybe don't even bother being friends with you. You guys up here. How are you guys doing? Superior technology. Okay, I'm going to take the offer from... No, decline your offer. Your offer I'll say yes to, however. That works for me. And yet more people jumping on the Picari. So... Surely no one's opened the L gates, right? Like, if someone had opened the L gates, I'd know about it. By the way, we've discovered Alpha Refuge. There, that is over there. Marvellous. So, uh, this bit of the galaxy is uh, slowly being filled into. It's definitely not actually empty. 100%. There's 10 million things going on around there. In fact, you, my friend, uh, might be able to help me with that. Because me and you seem to actually uh, get on pretty well. So, how about we trade comms? And also you can give me some alloys. That'd be absolutely fine too. And you know what? It's fine. I don't need alloys. We're good. Though if you want to give me some food, yeah, I could go for some food actually. Oh, we got the plasma throwers though. That's a big flipping deal. The fact we got plasma throwers. Disruptors are also available if need be. We probably need more flipping power. Omega theory would not be the worst thing in the world. But yeah, the fleet needs some upgrades. Get cold fusion in play. Okay, we've got the comms. Uh, let's see what we've got here. So, the Maltics Confederation. Uh, you guys are... Okay, it's yet more materialists and egalitarians. These guys are everywhere in this galaxy. Ooh, and there's the Zero Index. Right, so that's the kill bots I put into the galaxy. Organic vermin detected. We wish to be friends, Zero Index. Marvellous. We might want to be a little bit worried that, yeah, the Zero Index are literally right next to the Infinite Pond and the Pax Romana and seem to be doing better than them. That's... that could be a problem. And we've also discovered... right, there's the Xenophile Fallen Empire, and I believe I just saw over here... Yeah, there's the Xenophobe Fallen Empire. So all four Fallen Empires are present and correct. They haven't been squeezed out by the galaxy being too full. And it's election time again. Honestly, I can't afford to get involved. I need that influence, so we're just going to abstain. And we're going to see who the new leader is. So, uh, research speed plus 10%, not bad. Unity plus 10%, not bad. Explorer, not so great. We're kind of past the exploration phase, but you know what? It's not terrible. And very important indeed, we have actually now brought a curator order into our empire, which one, the Xenophiles should like. They love that stuff. And two, means we might be able to get ourselves. Yeah, upgrade that. That's absolutely marvellous. Would be lovely to actually have one of those special curator things. Hang on. Me and you need to have a chat with each other. So, uh, mutual think tank requires plus 50 opinion. Okay, that's going to start building automatically. Now they sit inside our empire. How much is it to aid in the research, by the way? That's a thousand. Not bad for research speed plus 10%. Yeah, make it happen. Good. Okay, agricultural district over on Tiny Sands is now completed. So, beginning of this next month. Good. We're back into a decent food surplus. Good situation right there. We've also finished up the new alloy foundry. So more alloys coming in. Plus 21. That's a healthy amount right there. Minerals still looking good. Money could be better. Because yeah, okay, I've learned something from this war. Which is, uh, I need to stockpile money like crazy. But oh. Okay. There's just been some vassalization there. That changes the balance of power quite significantly. That, as far as I'm concerned, means uh, you guys, uh, we now want to be friends with each other. Congratulations, uh, you're going to be my new friend, and we love each other, so you're going to say yes to that. By the way, what piece was that right there? That was, uh, okay, the Picari versus the Nat Fanken, probably because, yeah, they just don't get to do their own independent diplomacy anymore. And the Balvia also joined up with the Inari. Okay, so uh, that's not so bad. That's actually uh, 
pretty good, all things considered. Me and the Twitter birds have now got a decent empire together. And with you guys formally taking care of these guys, uh, you'll be able to build up a decent sized fleet. Okay, this is, this is not bad at all. I would say go and attack the Picari. You're in a good situation right now. Get in there, flip and destroy them. Also, I'm really, really worried that I've literally only seen one set of Marauders so far. Because, uh, yeah, as of 15 years ago, those Marauders could graduate into being a great Khan literally any flipping second. And uh, I haven't seen any of the others, and sure we said three should spawn in, but sometimes if the galaxy gets too crowded, uh, some things just don't spawn. So, uh, it's not impossible that's the only one. Oh, there's the Starhold. Loving the Starhold. Okay, that's, that's a really damn big deal right there. We've also got ourselves all the things in the world. Elgate Insights. You know, I wouldn't say no. The Elgates are an opportunity for me to potentially screw over literally everyone who's not me. That's that's something to think about right there. But for the time being, uh, just get the Ion Thruster sorted out. That's probably pretty important too. Okay, that new ship that was created. Uh, merge that into Strike Force Cerberus. And then you guys, once you've been merged together, go and heal yourselves up, please. Everybody needs nice and healing up. Lovely. You, by the way, need a new ship. Oh, the yellows are coming in nice and fast now. Even more wars are breaking out. Unsurprisingly, it's against the... Oh, blimey, the Picari are down to, like, nothing. Okay, you guys have just slaughtered them. Absolutely flipping slaughtered them. Okay, now... You guys actually aren't at war with these guys just yet. If I was to actually declare war on them, just in terms of end threat, would you be willing to come along? Okay, I'm just going to basically trick these guys into declaring war. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Declare war right there. Marvellous. And they're going to vote for yes, which is brilliant. And now I'm going to say, don't follow me. Just like, go and do your own thing. Because they've got, like, nothing left at this point, And you must have rebuilt at least a little bit. So, uh, just get in there. Eat some of this. If you're going to be my friend, I want you to be strong, all right? I can't get there in time, and I couldn't defend it if I could. So, leave that be. But I'd like you to just go and take care of that, please. Like, you know, they are bordering you. They are dicks. They are very vulnerable right now. Have fun. And apparently my Admiral has passed away. Presumably by travelling backwards in time and being killed by a mining platform. It's hard to say, but presumably so. Now, the mercenary contracts come to an end. Uh, let them go. We don't actually need those guys anymore. Everything should be mostly under control for the time being. So, uh, they can just naff off. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Oh, and guess what's just happened, by the way? So, the Spuck Shellacs are now too strong to actually be a rival of mine. Again. So, that's good. <laughs> That's great. I'm thrilled about that. Still, we need to stop them getting in next time, all right? Next time, uh, we need to make sure they can't get through at all. So, uh, I'd say a star hold uh, over here would be just the flipping thing, actually. Yes. So, we need to save up some alloys for that. And as my science ships don't actually have anything to do right now, may as well deploy them uh, to assist research on both of my planets. Now, the Corvette fleets, because uh, yes indeed, I think it's probably time to go pretty much overwhelmingly to uh, Plasma Thrower. So, uh, yeah, damage of 12 to 15 versus, uh, okay, 10 to 27, but much less in the way of uh, armor anything. Yep, you know what? We're definitely doing that, though we're going to be needing, ah, we need more power to make that happen. So ignore that for now. We do actually have a new generator in production right now. In less than two years, uh, we'll be ready to go with the new cold fusion generators. Then we can go overwhelmingly over to plasma, which is absolutely the way we want to go. And with Dargan officially within our empire, that means we can actually start colonizing this rather nice looking planet. So uh, what else have we got here? Yeah, we got ourselves two people who like the old tropical, but... Yeah, this is what we need right here. The Tomb World Specialist. You guys are used to blasted hellscapes. It's gonna have to do the job. So, uh, have fun with that. I know it's slightly low habitability. I'm sure it's fine. And, uh, well, this is one hell of a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of a bit of a desperate hope 
for us, to be honest. But it's not a nice place at all. So, uh, yeah. Forlorn hope it shall be. And there's that Omega Theory. Absolutely flipping marvellous. Aside from that, leaderpool size, cost down. Habitability up a little bit, yeah. Habitability is not great inside our empire. Let's start boosting that, please. Oh, that's what we wanted to see. My friends are indeed moving in. I had to give them a little bit of a push to make sure they did it. But, ooh, you guys are even going to get a mega structure out of this. Well, I have just done you one hell of a favor. Oh, but here we go. Starbase upkeep down by 20%. As I've got plenty of star bases, that's probably going to make, yeah, a decent impact. But we've also got the brand new Ascension perk. Okay, what do we need here? Because uh, Universal Transactions, though it is specific to Mega Corps, I feel like that's not really helping me much because 15% uh, reduction in branch is not great. We don't have that many commercial packs going on right now. Uh, that wouldn't really help me that much. I'm going to take Technological Ascendancy because not just the 10%, rare technology showing up more regularly. Yeah, you know what? We need to double down on science. I am falling behind. Oh, there's those cold fusion reactors. Uh, okay, that's what we need. And our oh, hyperdrive 2. Hyperdrive 2 is pretty damn sexy. Uh, I'm still not... Ah! That's why people were able to bypass me before. I haven't actually researched FTL inhibition. Yeah, that's pretty important too. That's, that's very important. Also, I'm wondering whether I should just go all in with plasma throwers and totally ignore the mass drivers. Because, uh, yeah, against shields, uh, that's going to be doing... Uh, between 5 and 16, so about 10, plus 50% bonus damage, so 15. This is going to be doing 12 to 25, but minus 75%, so it's not a huge amount lower. Also, am I at war again? Yes, yes I am. The Queptilium Premium has decided to attack me. Or rather, they've attacked these guys, which sort of pulls me in. Admittedly, do these guys even... You guys don't even have borders. Stop being dicks. Right, I probably won't be getting involved in that one anytime soon. By the way, I'm floating a big old pile of alloys right now. So, uh, yeah. You know what? Star hold, please. This border is uh, too important to be anything but. Now, as I was saying... Yes, indeed. We've still got spare power right now. So, uh, even more shielding. Go all out on the shields. I love those shields. Then we've got ourselves... Yeah, cold fusion reactor... Only hyperdrive one, only chemical thrusters, all of this is basic stuff so far. Okay, so that would be an average of, what, 17 but minus app. Okay, that'd be a bit of a problem. That would only be minus 50% though, the UV lasers three. So, arguably, that might be worthwhile. Because yeah, that's an average damage of, what, 18, 19, minus 50%. So, 10-ish... Not much lower than that 15, only about 33% down, but obviously much more effective against armor. So, okay, we're going to have ourselves some UV lasers and some plasma. And maybe if the time's right down the line, we might put some auto cannons on some specialized ships or something. But that, that works for me. We will struggle with shields slightly, but shields are often no more than like... 10-15% of the enemy's defenses, alright? There's typically about the same amount of armor, but way more hull. Ooh, I wasn't expecting this. The Picari Decimators are just gone. They've actually ceased to exist, presumably, because their last planet's been taken, so everything else has just fallen out of the Empire, leaving a bit of an ugly space between Empires right here. Right, well, you guys complete. have done very well out of that. Well done. When I say very well, you've got a mega structure and one decent system. It's not bad. Also, apparently there was just an invisible ancient tomb floating somewhere nearby to Brocken 2 that has just been revealed by a random asteroid strike. Okay, Brocken is... Yes, I thought Brocken was over here. Well, that's nice, okay. Would you believe the scientist who's good at archaeology has literally just died this second? Well, that's bloody inconvenient. And there's no more archaeologists available either. Bloody hell. Okay, ion thrusters are also done. Probably best at this point we do indeed get down. Yeah, destroyers. We should get some destroyers in play. Just so we've got some basic point defense. Nice, easy, cheap point defense. Good at taking out corvettes too. Uh, not a bad idea. And FTL inhibitors are done too. Okay, good, important, necessary stuff coming into play right now. Basic combat rolls wouldn't hurt. 
Omega Theory would be great as well. In fact, do we have time for that right now? Actually, Listening Post. Listening Post would be great. Building a new home. And building a new home says, Tali, forlorn hope is now actually starting to happen. Also, interestingly, the tenants of Tabby have uh, allowed the Inari to become, uh, well, associated uh, with their federation. The problem is I think they woke to me because, yeah, you're religious and I'm not. What about you guys? If I actually wanted to ask for associate status. Surprisingly, not too far off. I might be able to make that happen, potentially. If I wanted to. Like... If these guys end up inside the Federation, I might be willing to join it. And now, we just lock down the final few systems, fill in the gaps, and yeah, pretty soon, uh, there'll be no empty space left, aside from, yeah, where Shard's living. That's gonna take a while to take care of. And this bit up here, but this bit up here is not great, so we'll get to that when we get to it. Oh, but there's the first star hold right there. 1,900 right now. Not bad. Not bad at all, but... Yeah, reinforce it. Stronger, and stronger, and stronger, please. And yeah, target uplink computer as well. Let's just give my fleet more of a chance inside this area. Once that's set up, we should be able to do a much better job fighting back against these bastards. Oh, good, and there's even more fanatical purifiers in the galaxy that we didn't know about, apparently. Well, that's just great. Ooh, I think these guys might have only just popped into existence, actually. Except, hang on, how have you got... How have you got a Citadel station? Wait, what the hell is going on here? These guys have just emerged from the rubble of the other guys. So, I guess possibly this was formerly like a slave colony or something that's declared independence but decided they're dicks regardless? I don't know. Also, yeah, the Spock Shellacs aren't giving up on their claims. They most definitely want to make that happen sooner or later. Still, I would say it's probably time for, yeah, the Southern Outpost to be converted into uh, Shipyard 2. Aggressors spotted. Okay, what aggressors? Hang on, what are you talking about? What aggressors have just been spotted? Wait, who the cock are you? Oh, it's the Silicron lot. Because uh, they're technically allied with uh, you guys, the Queptilium Primum. Okay, fortunately, you've not sent much. You've only sent 400 odd. You're not going to be getting past this, but... Right, okay, so... The border is not going to be quite as peaceful as I was hoping for. Deploy the fleet over to Decida. Do we need all of it? You know what, just send Strike Force Kraken, keep Strike Force Cerberus over here. In fact, actually, Strike Force Cerberus, deploy them down to the Spuck Shellac blockade. Okay, so never a flipping moment's peace. I don't fancy their chances, though. This base was set up as, uh, yeah, a massive defensive outpost against a handful of corvettes. It ain't gonna do much. In fact, are they even gonna make it through uh, the actual defensive platform? I don't think they are, to be honest. I think, actually, even though they've got some very lovely, elegant ships, it must be said, uh, the ship is being absolutely shredded. Yeah, they're screwed. They're a hundred percent screwed. Screw you. Okay, possibly this war over here might be a little bit bigger than what I was expecting. I'm guessing reinforcements are coming in yet as well. Yep, yeah, as I suspected, 1,800 is on its way. Okay, more is coming. More is coming. But my fleet is ready to meet them. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, you flipping don't. No, you flipping don't. You may have sent 1,800, but actually, I think you'll find I've got 1,700 coming in, and I am going to have the actual station to back me the flip up. So, this is going to be painful, but the advantage is... Oh, the advantage is definitely mine. The advantage is definitely flipping mine. Uh, what does this station have on it? Oh, this station's got the disruption field generator on it. That means your shields are garbage, you stupid losers. Screw your stupid fleet. Naff off. Your shields are gone. Your armor's gone. You can just go home now. Naff off. Goodbye. Have a good one. There you go, Betsy. Oh, job flipping done. We only lost two Corvettes there as well, and we can replace them immediately. Right. We are able to stand up to this. Can we stay right here, by the way? Yeah, you guys heal yourselves up right here. Bring in the reinforcements. I want Cerberus team here as well. They might well come back yet. Ah, yes, and that mysterious ancient chamber has started to be unlocked as well, so... Uh, 
Okay, first chamber is accessible, but an impenetrable door blocks any further progress. So you guys just start translating some glyphs, fighting you inside. I'm sure everything's lovely. Oh, and here's nice. A part of the whole fastens have actually broken away into a moral democracy, which is pacifist, but not actually xenophile. But they seem to not hate me. So that's good. Okay, lesson learned. I'm going to be needing plenty more additional fleet yet, but I do have some spare capacity right now, and alloys are starting to come at a decent rate. My border with the Spuxilax is looking better than it once was. My border over here at Decida, looking alright. The birds of the north, they still get on with me. Me and them, absolutely A-OK. -okay. We're a bit boxed in at the minute, but in theory, if I could build a big enough fleet... Maybe Corinth could be someone we would potentially want to expand into. Perfect world. I would like to, yeah, take the fight to the Spuxilax a little bit. That would certainly be very welcome. Because I feel like while the Spuxilax live, I'm always going to be in a bit of danger. Especially as apparently they're just free to keep expanding to the north. Because screw them, I suppose. Right. We have got a third world going down. Our borders are looking good. We have survived what I thought was a totally unwinnable war. So, things are okay. They're fine. Everything's okay. And by the way, we're only three years away from the endgame crisis starting to roll some dice in the background. Mid-game stuff hasn't kicked off yet, but could literally do so any flipping second. So, uh, everything's great, basically. Everything's fine. We're not dead yet. We've made it to the end of part three. And indeed, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that is enough for now. Next time, we need to figure out what the hell our next move is. Because aside from, yeah, just a couple of little systems dotted about here, we've pretty much eaten every system we can eat. We can expand a bit more, get down some more planets. Probably not a bad idea at all. We might want to focus internally for a bit. But we need to find an answer to the Spokshalak problem. Potentially by murdering all of them. I feel like murdering all of them is the solution. Save up some money. Hire some mercenaries. I think potentially we might be able to make that happen. Or rather I'm not sure we can. But we can't need to find a way regardless. Because uh, otherwise uh, what the hell else do we do? I don't know where else we would want to go. So uh, we will try and figure that out next time ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime I've been John. It's been many a true nut. And this has been Stellaris The Impossible Run. Thank you very much and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death, okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me. <laughs>